Here with Maggie Lucas of the Indiana Fever, one of the best three-point shooters around. Um, obviously, this team didn't finish the season quite the way he wanted a loss in, in Game 5. What do you feel like the vibe around the team is? I mean, it's definitely very positive. Uh, you know, we went a lot further than anyone expected. And, you know, we grew a lot as a team. So, you know, you know, sometimes that's all you can ask. And one team at the end of the year walks away happy. And, you know, we, we took it as long as we could, as long as the season can go. And, you know, we were right there. So, you know, we're pretty happy with what we did. A team that fought off elimination five times this season successfully yeah. uh, before the final game five. So what, what is it about kind of the DNA of the team that allowed you all to be so successful with your backs against the wall? I mean, it definitely says that we're just a never-say-die team, um, you know. Uh, we're really good under pressure, and, uh, you know, we have, like I said, a lot to be proud of. And, you know, being able to hold off elimination that many times is pretty impressive. As far as uh, maybe personal goals for yourself, uh, you improved your minutes per game this season, your three-point percentage per game, your points per game. You feel like you're headed in the right direction as a WNBA player? Yeah, definitely. I mean, i got a lot of work to do yet, and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the process, and I love being a part of this organization, um, you know, so I'm, I'm very happy about it. If I remember correctly, you played in France last offseason. What are your plans this offseason? Um, to start off, I'm going to go home, take at least the first part of the overseas season off, um, maybe sign a contract after the Christmas break. And what would you like to work on personally as a player this offseason? Just becoming more well-rounded. Uh, you know, that's the biggest thing for me, you know, getting outside of just being a shooter. So where, where do you feel like... So now you have two years with the Fever, uh, one with Lynn Dunn and one with Stephanie White. How did you feel your role changed under Stephanie White? I mean, I think everyone's role changed a little bit. Um, you know, the rotation included pretty much everybody. And, um, you know, it was important that we all knew our roles and were able to come in and make an impact. And, you know, it made it a lot of fun. With next year being Tamika's final year, maybe not pressure, but is there excitement around the team as trying to send her off with a title in her final season? Um, I mean, right now, I think we're still kind of just dealing with the end of this season. Uh, but I, I definitely, I mean, we want to send her off on, you know, the note that she deserves. Well, thanks a lot and have a good offseason, all right? Thank you.